Meredith here, Hampton Roads Beekeepers. We have a uh, package of bees we're going to put in an existing top bar hive that already has drawn comb in it. So I've gone through here and picked out empty worker comb that I want them to start with, and that's in the front here. So that's where I'm going to be installing the bees. Only one entrance is open. Um, so I'm going to hang the queen and put all the bees in here to get started. So we have to take the package and release the staples that the piece of board is held on with, and then we're going to take our 5-in-1 paint tool and pull out the can of syrup. And these bees have not been in here very long, so they have not drawn comb. If you get your package through the mail, they're going to have been in here a couple of days, and they will have drawn comb on this, so it's hard to get out. Um, I'm just gently lifting it up so all the bees kind of get off it. And then grab the board and put it back over. So this can is still full of syrup. There's only a couple of holes in here. And so we want to go ahead and add this to the hive. So I've brought the punch out with me. And this is my bottle feeder that I like to use. Le Bleu water from Food Lion or Blooms is the one that fits in this hive without being too tall. And I'll just fill it up. <laughs> Get a drink. And there's still a little bit left, so I'll find another feeder to put that into. It's about 50, 55 right now, so they're not flying a whole lot. Um, so I'm just going to, uh, I'll put a few empty bars. All these bars are drawn, but I'm going to take out a few of them and I'll find some empty ones to replace them with. So this feeder goes down in the hive itself, just where the bees are going to be at. All right, so the next thing is we're going to uh, fish the queen out. I cut the strap that was holding her and she slipped back in there, so I've got to reach down in there and find the strap. So, there she is right there. Shake the bees off gently in the hive. So the queen's in there. She's marked with a red dot. You want to make sure that your queen is alive and walking around. Usually there's other workers in there with her, so make sure you find the largest one in there. Sometimes they're not marked, um, but the queen is significantly bigger. All right, here's the biggest thing you got to remember. You got to take the cork out of the end here to expose the candy so that the bees can eat through the candy and release the queen. If you don't take the cork out, they're never going to be able to release her. Just take your hive tool and pop it out. Now, these bees were packaged on Thursday, so they have not been in here long enough that you could just direct release the queen. If you were to pop the wrong cork, she could just walk right out, and there's a good chance they would ball her. So you want to make sure you do the candy end so they can chew her out gradually and in a couple days she'll be ready to come out. Um, some people will tell you to ream a nail down in there to start the hole and I wouldn't recommend that right now because I know that these bees have not been in here that long. Um, so I'm going to take a piece of duct tape and I'm just going to attach her so that it is in between two drawn combs put her down there so she's about two to three inches hanging down there and because this is drawn comb I'm gonna have to use an empty bar to go in between them a skinny one no, alright so this goes to provide the space I need and then I'm gonna push this one over now so the queen is right there but I'm gonna dump the bees in here and they should smell her and go up around her because it's still a little bit chilly so I don't want the bees to get chilled. I'm just gonna shake off all the bees that I find and most people are kind of scared to do this but the bees aren't really mean or anything you just need to knock them all down so that they're all down in here and then just put them in. And I've already got the jar of syrup in there, so they found that already, and they're all over it. Now, the other thing they're going to start doing is start fanning right away, so it's going to call all the bees that were in the package. It's going to call them to it. So I will set that package when we're done here right in front of the hive so that they can join their hive mates. And then I'm just adding back the empty bars or partly drawn ones. 
So I gotta get around this feeder here. You can use a division board if you want to. If you don't have any drawn comb, you definitely need to use a division board um, so that the bees aren't given the entire hive of no drawn comb. Otherwise, they can do some cross combing. Um, but you'll need to watch the syrup on this to make sure that you keep it refilled. And in three days, you're going to go in and you're going to make sure the queen has been removed. Bring a knife with you so you can cut out the cage. They will have built comb around it. So you don't want to leave it in there any longer than three days. If she's not been released, you need to check and see if there's eggs already in the comb because that means there's a second queen that came in the package. And if you release this queen, one of the queens is going to kill each other. If you don't find eggs though, and that's usually you don't, um, you just need to go ahead and take a nail and uh, uh, remount that candy or pop the other cork and lay it on the uh, screen bottom so that the queen can walk out on her own. So that's how you install a package in a top bar hive.